Привет, комрад Интенсир, и я хочу поблагодарить за дефект видео недавно. Today I want to present you the start of a new video series called Inside the TL and SL Mind because I think this is the area where people fail a lot. Uh, during my gameplay many times I see people bitching like uh, we shouldn't have attacked this map, we can't win or stuff like that when in reality it's just a combination of factors uh, which the team is lacking like a good TL and SLs, uh, the lack of a tank and so on. Any map can be won in this game if the players take responsibility for their roles and actually try to be effective in attacking or defending. It amazes me to see so many players who have the Call of Duty or Counter-Strike mindset where everything is about the kills. Uh, sure, any decent player can flank far away and score 50 or 70 or more kills in a round, but are you effective? Do you help in any way the team? Who the fuck cares about your kills, dude, after all? Uh, anyway, back on topic, we will be covering throughout the series a lot of aspects uh, regarding those roles like artillery, organizing your people, things you should do and not do, a bit of psychology in the motivation of your team and leadership and much more combined with uh, some gameplay where you can see exactly what I think and provide tips live during the game. First things first, in this introduction video, which I intend to be a short video, I want to explain to you my view on uh, on different TLs. Um, so a TL can fall into four categories, in my opinion. Uh, number one, bad team leaders, um, people who get the TL role just for the weapon and play individually, and in the best case scenario, they type in chat. Uh, Recon up, check your maps, uh, uh, with uh, zero communication with the team. Uh, second, average TLs, they communicate with the team on the mic, meaning they say Recon up, check your maps or artillery in one minute and that's it, nothing else. They are way too robotic and those are the only things that they do and they still play individually. Uh, number three, good TLs. Uh, people who use the mic to coordinate the team, they take some decisions according to what's going on and they are effective where needed. Of course it goes without saying that they call Rick on RT, they inform the team about it and they try to at least motivate the team in, in some way. And number four, exceptional TLs, people who do what I said previously but also have a very good sense of what is happening on the battlefield just by observing the map uh, and make uh, changes in the team on the spot people who have a good understanding of how to motivate the team and make a level 20 player move his ass and push where needed also they have uh, good leadership skills and know how to build the trust and respect of the players in that team and he knows how to adapt to different scenarios where while still taking good decisions when shit hits the fan. Also, he is extremely good in map knowledge, all the spawns for both your team and the enemy team, uh, all the differences between artilleries, they pay attention to when the enemy will have artillery ready, and he takes a responsibility for the entire team and doesn't blame others when things go wrong. Uh, for example, you fail to capture an objective because your squad leaders are dead all the time. Uh, sure, it is their fault, but you gotta take responsibility uh, and tell them exactly what to do. Go next to them if it's necessary, tell them to follow you, show them where it's a good spot to stay alive and so on. If they really don't give a shit, then yes, you did your job and you took responsibility and the team can see that you are doing your job right and the SLs are not. But hey, sometimes this happens and you gotta move on. Not every round in Red Orchestra has to be won. Uh, I have to say that in my 3000 something hours while playing this game, I never seen an exceptional TL. If I would have to add myself into a category, I think I would be a good TL with occasions where I do things uh, from an exceptional TL. I simply can't focus on so many things and sometimes I become quiet or lose my interest in motivating the team when things go wrong and so on. So at least I know where I can, in which category I fall in and I know the things I need to work on to become better and so on. 
Uh, also, good TLs are very, very, very few. You can actually count them on fingers uh, in this game. Uh, I'm speaking about Europe because I this is where I play on. Uh, I don't know about the Americans team leaders, but um, I still think they are very, very few. But even so, a team with a good TL uh, can make the game extremely enjoyable for everyone. And that's what I hope uh, uh, you will learn from this series. Uh, how to be a good TL and understand better the, the game of uh, TL and also the game of the SL. Until next time, this is Comrade Intense and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.